Shalom, 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 Israel, you know, praise you, Abbas, you Shabbat, you know, that's the bottom cells, Jim Mesh, such as you, I came out, uh, out there, you know, pushing this word, truth, and sincerity, risking your freedom, your life to do so. Um, yeah, man, the video cut off, man, it's a lot, yeah. I just got to put my phone on, do not disturb. But, um, you know, getting back to it, man, about, you know, the, the wicked being in power, that's why the people are mourning. And that we're looking for and hastening for a new earth where in dwelleth righteousness. And obviously, we're not in a righteous kingdom. We're not in a righteous life because everybody is suffering. So let's continue on. Proverbs 29 and 2 says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And it's obvious, man, nobody's rejoicing. I mean, that's obvious. Everybody's catching hell. Everybody has some type of form of. Where are they catching hell? You see? But when a wicked bear rule, the people rejoice. I mean, when a wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And everybody's mourning. Everybody's mourning. Everybody got a complaint. Everybody's saying they're working so hard and they're getting hit with mad taxes, 40%, 30% taxes. To barely get ahead, struggling, the job's not paying enough. Man on child support. Woman got them on child support. You see? It's just a whole bunch of wickedness, you know? That goes on today's society. And that's why people are mourning because the wicked are in authority. You know, Job 9 verse 24. You see, let's jump back to where we was at. Uh, this is... Uh, By right, reading on, this is um, 2 Peter 3, verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwell of righteousness. Right. Now, when we say uh, new heavens and a new earth, that don't mean that the Lord is going to create, physically create a new heavens and physically create a new earth. That's talking about here on earth, a physical place of earth. The Most High is going to make everything new and fresh again. You know, when he takes down Esau, Edom, uh, when he comes back in the so-called UFOs, through his son, Yahweh Shah, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and take down these nations and force them to keep the laws, that's what the commandments of the Heavenly Father. Force them to keep the laws of Moses. By force. And if you don't follow the laws, you're going to be uh, penalized through the court into the law. Whether it be a man laid with man, he's going to be put to death. A uh, uh, man sleep with another man's wife. He's going to be put to death. Him and her. You see? Man eat pork. He's going to be killed. All that is going to be taking place in the, in the kingdom of heaven. When the dwell of righteousness, all nations going to have to follow the law, statute, and commandments of the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem and Hashem. And you ain't going to have a choice. That's the new heavens and the new earth. That's going to be established right here on earth. And we can't wait. We're actually looking forward to it. You see? Verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Right? And a part of us give us diligence is, you know, being prophets, going out there highways and bowing, pushing his word, trusting in the Lord, spreading the gospel, bringing people to repentance, giving tithes, doing right. Keeping the laws to the best of our ability. That's how we 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 be found of him with our spot and blameless. Because we all fell short. But we're striving to be perfect and blameless before him. It said, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given him, had written unto you. Right, man. So that's what we're looking forward to, man. And this is this is an uh, article continuation, and it says, um, these people should be put to death. DFW passed a call to LGBT people to be executed. And he ain't lying. The 
pastor of North Texas. And why, why they don't never put us on the news? Because we've been saying that for years. Why? Because they don't want Israel to wake up to who they are. Because they got a saying. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Any publicity is good publicity. So if you want to get famous, I don't care if it's bad or good. You're gonna get you're gonna get famous. Whether you're notorious or 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 you're praised. So by bringing us out and demonizing us, you'll wake up a lot of our people. And they'll be like, damn, these guys are telling the truth. And he sort of want that. He sort of want his kingdom to come crawling to an end just yet. So he's gonna put this pastor of North Texas Church. I'm gonna continue once say evicted evicted in February from its building for trying to incite violence against the LGBT <coughs> community is facing protests again after calling for gay people to be executed, of course. Cause they we inside them make more. So of course they're gonna protest. They don't wanna hear that. They wanna hear the righteousness of the Lord. And reading on said, what does God say is the answer? Is the solution for the homosexual in 2022? Here in the New Testament, here in the book of Romans, that they are worthy of death. Preacher Dylan Alls of Steadfast Baptist Church in Watts Wagua said in a Sunday sermon. And look at that. That's the disrespect, a rainbow flag. And we all know that the Moshe created the rainbow um, symbolized not to destroy the earth but, but water again. That was a covenant he made. But they turned the rainbow flag into um, gay pride. Because gay means happy. It really homo it's really it's really sodomy. That's the correct term. Sodomites. Says these people should be put to death. All continue. Every single homosexual in our country should be charged with a crime, which is true. The abomination of homosexuality that they have, they should be convicted in a lawful trial. They should be sentenced to death. They should be lined up against a wall, shot in the back of the head. Now, if you was to do that, maybe the most high wouldn't destroy this place, but this is not gonna happen. Cause he might say it, but Esau believe in that. A true Edom might want to live like that. Do it thou will. You see? But but if that was to happen, maybe the most high wouldn't do it. But see the most high never lied. He said he was gonna destroy this place before this happened. Many, many years ago. Centuries ago. Thousands of years ago, he told these prophets that this would happen. And he made it to happen like this, you see? But it's, it's a long haul. I'm not going to read all of it, man. But, man, we're looking for a new heaven and a new earth, man. We're in dwelling righteousness. You know, that way, we don't have to suffer this BS anymore. You see? So with that, I'm going to give a praise to you. How about you, man? How about you? 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 How about